I hope nobody notices. I was able to fake my way into getting service at a restaurant wearing no shirt and then no pants. So today, I'm gonna see if I can get service with no shirt and no pants at the same time. Bruh. I called a professional body paint artist and she told me what I needed to do in order to pull this off. Standing there for hours was really hard. Just like it's hard to like and subscribe at the same time. But after 10 hours and $20,000 later, it really looked like I was wearing clothes. Let's see if this actually works. So far, so good. I sat down and almost nobody noticed that my clothes were painted on. Some people even complimented my outfit. Yeah. It worked! Today, I'm gonna get something free from Costco. I have multiple disguises that I'm going to use to see how many free samples I can get before getting kicked out. One per person? Mm -hmm. We'll see about that. I started with my first disguise. And? Happy there, sir. Thank you. Very good. This drink looks gnarly. Can I take one? Bruh. That's already two samples, and I'm just getting started. Three, four. They had no clue it was still me. So I went to a nearby aisle and changed my disguise once again. This was going shockingly well. But after doing this so many times, the employees were starting to get suspicious. Bruh. If this works, everybody has to subscribe. And I got my last sample because I was out of costume. This was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. The other day, a very suspicious package arrived at my doorstep. And when I opened it, there was this adorable doll. Hi, I'm Chucky. I instantly knew that he was going to become my new best friend. We did everything together. And I mean everything. He even told everybody to... Subscribe! But when I woke up the next day, Chucky was missing. Chucky? I ran downstairs to find the entire house destroyed. And there was Chucky. A doll couldn't do this. I put him in timeout and headed to go get some coffee. But as soon as I sat down in the car, I saw this. And I'm your friend to the end. This was getting weird. All week, I felt like I was being watched. Bruh. So I was left with only one option. To throw him away to get rid of him permanently. Ah, finally, some peace and quiet. These drinks should be illegal. Today, I'm going to find out who can make the most colorful drink in the world by putting Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts against each other. I started at Starbucks and asked, Hi, can I please have your most colorful drink? After nervously waiting, they gave me the drink. Whoa. This is going to be hard to beat. Now time to see what Dunkin' Donuts can do. What do you think your most colorful drink is? She then consulted with her team member and came out with the most colorful drink that wasn't even on the menu. This is crazy. <laughs> time to compare. Like to vote for Starbucks and subscribe to vote for Duncan. The winner is Duncan. This is the best candy, and if you disagree, you're wrong. This or that? Praise Fire. Pop Rocks. Bruh. This. This or that? This. Ooh. This or that? Oh, this. This or that? Fuck oh, that. Bruh. This. Oh, no. This or that? Smell the rainbow. Bruh. This. this or that. Subscribe if you think this should win and like the video if you think these should win. Yellow's the best one. This. This or that. This. This or that. This. This or that. This. This or that. Bruh. This. This or that. It's so creepy. Hey, and for sure, he won't stop drinking this. Prime just announced their new lemonade flavor. And my friend Steven is absolutely obsessed with Prime. But when he went to order the new flavor online, it sold out within five seconds. And that's the only thing he wanted for his birthday. So I made it my mission to find him the rarest Prime in the world. But it was looking impossible. Just like it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. Luckily, I found the new flavor online and paid $10,000 for one bottle to surprise him. Then I went into his room and showed him his birthday present. Shutters, shutters. And... What? To say he was excited was an understatement. Bruh. He then got ready to drink his prime like he always does. Bruh. And this was his reaction. Best birthday ever! What's the most expensive drink at Starbucks? Today I'm gonna find out by making two different Starbucks locations go head to head and making me the most expensive drink possible. I headed to the first location. May I please do the most expensive drink on your menu? I got our first expensive drink and headed to the second Starbucks location. Hi there, I'm looking for the most expensive Starbucks drink in the world. Whoa, there's two receipts on there. Now that I have two expensive drinks, now it's time to taste them. Starbucks one tasted very expensive. 
And Starbucks 2 felt like only kings should drink it. Like the video in three seconds if you think Starbucks 1 is more expensive. Or subscribe if you think Starbucks 2 is more expensive. Starbucks 1 is $11.26. And Starbucks 2 is $11.53. Starbucks 2 wins. Time to guess the YouTuber product. Are you ready? Let's go. All right, Topper. Which one is Hershey's and which one is Feastable? Uh, all right, hold on. Let me try this one first. Mm. Definitely Hershey's 1 million percent. No peeking? I, I can't see. I'm not peeking. That one has the Feastable texture. 1 million percent, that's Feastable. All right, Topper. Which one is Prime and which one is Gatorade? All right, first one. Here we go. Woo! That one is sweet. Next. Prime? Mm. Okay, Topper. Which one is marinara sauce and which one is Pizza Feet? That one's definitely Pizza Feet. It tastes exactly like Arak. Hey, yo. Bruh. Which one is McDonald's and which one is Beast Burger? All right, here we go. Ooh, this one's light. Okay. Is there any water around here? Oh! Beast Burger? Yeah. Let's go. Three, two, oh! one. so frustrating. About a month ago, Ben Aslar broke my diamond play button and YouTube said, they said they won't give me another one until I pass you in subscribers. That's not gonna happen. Challenge accepted. So to gain more subscribers, I paid each of my friends to hand out flyers all around the city telling people to subscribe to Topper Guild. The plan was genius until I saw this. I guess I have to take matters into my own hands. So I went to a crowded part of town and told people to subscribe to Topper Guild. But nobody even looked. I was done messing around. I knew what I had to do. Climb the Golden Gate Bridge and hang a banner telling people to subscribe to Topper Guild. Subscribe to help me pass Ben. I can't believe this is true. Starbucks is now giving a golden frappuccino from their secret menu if you have a Starbucks tattoo. So I got an idea. I started by calling a professional body paint artist, showing her exactly what I wanted painted on my body, and paying her $10,000 for this realistic Starbucks drink tattoo. Then I headed over to Starbucks and asked, I heard that if I have a Starbucks drink tattoo like this, I get a free golden drink. Is that true? If this works, everybody has to subscribe. They called my name and it's a golden Starbucks drink. Today I received incredible news. Dunkin' Donuts is now giving golden donuts from their secret menu if you have a donut tattoo. My plan was simple. I called the professional body paint artist, showed her exactly what I wanted, and paid her $10,000 for this realistic donut looking tattoo. Then I found the closest Dunkin' Donuts, and it was time to see if this would actually work. I heard that if I have a donut tattoo like this, I get a free golden donut. Is that true? If this works, everyone has to subscribe. They called my number, and my order came in a special golden bag. And it's a golden donut. This was unbelievable. My dad and I have always loved ice cream sandwiches. And today, we're gonna find out the difference between the lowest and highest rated ice cream sandwiches. We started off with the lowest rated one. It was described as awful and even multiple reviews saying that they would never eat this again. These were horrible. Definitely a one out of 10. And my dad's stomach agreed. Right. So I headed to a famous spot known for having the best ice cream sandwiches in the world. And they even come inside of a donut. And the moment we've all been waiting for. These were amazing. A solid 9 out of 10. I don't think I'll ever do this again. Since I was a kid, all I've ever wanted to do was win at a claw machine. And the other night, my girlfriend said this. I want you to win that for me or we're done. So I loaded up my card and got to work. Bruh. I couldn't let her down. I put my card in and proceeded to try again and again and again. She was getting impatient and looked disappointed in me. I was starting to get overwhelmed, so I told her I needed to take a pee break. But in reality, I was terrified. You know what? No. I got this. I came back more motivated than ever. Subscribe to give me some luck. My final attempt was looking promising until I got it. I turned around to give it to my girlfriend, but she was already with another guy with a better prize. I was crushed and...
This is what happens if you paint a brand new iPhone 14 Pro with the darkest black paint known to mankind. Since I have nothing better to do, I'm gonna show you guys. Yes. The crazy thing about this paint is that it absorbs 99% of all light and visible detail, meaning that anything that's painted with it will become completely invisible. After the paint dried, this iPhone looked so cool. You could barely even see it. It looked like there was a hole in my hand or something. Every time I go to the movies, I always get popcorn. But the last time I went, it just wasn't hitting the spot. And then I got an idea to sneak a five-star meal into the movie theater. My plan? Buy a baby carrier, order a five-star meal from one of the top-rated restaurants in LA, and cover it to make it look like I have a baby. Genius, I know. Bruh. So far, so good. I walked up with confidence, and they totally let me in and didn't even question it. This was the best movie I have ever seen because I was able to enjoy a five-star meal while watching. How many wood boards can me and my dad kick through? Down! <laughs> One down. Yeah! Like it's nothing. Two boards. Yeah! Now we got three boards. <laughs> Let's go! Yeah! Six boards. Oh! Yeah! Ten boards. Yep! 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 Plenty boards. Subscribe if you think my dad's gonna win, and like the video if you think I'm gonna win. Subscribe! Dirty <laughs> 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 boards. It's 30. Bruh. There's no way. Subscribe! How did you do that? Hi. <laughs> 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 I can't believe I found this. The other day, I decided to go magnet fishing with the world's strongest magnet. I took it to a spot that is famously known for having the best magnet fishing finds. I decided it was time to test my luck. My first attempt was unsuccessful, but I wasn't going to let that stop me. I was at this so long that the rope started to burn a crack in the dock. After countless of attempts and trying my absolute hardest, I finally felt something heavy. I think I hooked something. I pulled as fast as I could with all my might. But once I got it up, I couldn't even open it. So I had to take it home and use my most powerful tools. And finally, I found a note that read, If you are reading this, you are one step closer to finding the hidden treasure. I will tell you the secret hiding place if everyone watching likes and subscribes. Like and subscribe! I just broke a world record. The other day, I was going through the record book. There! And saw this. Alvin Mischitz has the loudest fart on record. And I thought to myself, I can beat that. So I tried concentrating and pushing as hard as I could. And... That didn't go as planned. Bruh. I did some research and saw this. I needed to get all the beans I could find and eat them all to produce an atomic bomb. And nothing but air came out. Bruh. This wasn't going as planned, so I called the master of farts, and he said that the only way he'll tell me the secret is if everyone watching likes and subscribes. I don't feel anything! Where is he? Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. Oh my gosh, it's getting heavy. I can't believe I was able to do this. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to win at this game. But I never could because my aim was so bad. So I did my research and ordered the best water blasters in order to perfect my technique. The X-Shot Water Fast Fill allows you to refill in one second. So I had countless of attempts to master this. Then I figured it out. It's all in the aim. So after I almost perfected it, I had to challenge my friends. Ah, okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. I gave them each a different X-Shot Water Blaster with epic skins that look better than ever. Then I showed them all the technique, and now let's see who gets the closest. Shutters oh, tried. Okay, okay. Brandon oh, tried. Oh, Tori tried. Oh, and finally, Bullseye! Let's go! I won! Now I never miss at the carnival. And how many layers of bubble wrap does it take to stop a human being? Oh, that's one! My dad is the test subject today. Let's see if he can get through two layers. Yeah, let's go! Oh my god! Oh, too easy! Five layers! Oh! Oh, he got it! 
<laughs> now have 10 layers. You're gonna need some protection for this one. I don't think this is a good idea, Sean. Go for it. Oh! Oh, he got it. Let's go! 20 layers, Dad. You think you got it? You got me, Sean. Go for it. Oh, he's going. I had to be the first person to try this. Dough Bricks Pizza is now giving a golden pizza from their secret menu if you have a pizza tattoo. So I knew what I had to do. I have successfully been able to get a golden burrito from Chipotle and a golden Big Mac from McDonald's. So now it's time to see if I can successfully get a free golden slice of pizza from David Dobrik's Pizza Restaurant. To do this, I had to reach out to a professional body paint artist and explain to her exactly what I wanted. It took hours hours to paint this slice of pizza onto my stomach and we had multiple distractions along the way after what felt like an eternity the pizza was done and it was time to pay the body paint artist then i rushed over to dobrik's and waited until it was my turn and asked i heard that if i have a dobrik's pizza tattoo like this i get a free slice of golden pizza is that true i then nervously waited until they called my name and it worked it's a golden slice of pizza this was a bad idea. I decided I'd ask Starbucks to make me the most disgusting drink possible. I pulled up to the drive-thru nervously and asked, I would just like the most disgusting drink you think you can make me. Are you being serious? 100% serious. I want it nasty. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so I made it as disgusting as I can. Re I mixed everything that's in here. It doesn't look so bad. It, it looks delicious. I mean, yeah. I also added all the inclusions. She wrote... Good luck on it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most disgusting drink you've ever made, what would you put it at? 12. And now time to try it. Subscribe to give me some luck. <laughs> what does it say? It's actually really good. As you guys know, I love McDonald's. But the other day, I was wondering, is it possible to just order a slice of cheese? Well, there's only one way to find out. So I tried to do it online. Yes, American cheese, no meat, no salt, no Big Mac bun, and we should be good to go. They just canceled my order. <sighs> Attempt number one failed. But then I thought of another idea, the drive-thru. I ordered a Big Mac, but asked for nothing but cheese. I think this might have worked. I opened the box and found the grilled cheese. Bruh. I had to step this up and head inside of McDonald's. I tried the machine that was inside of the store. It took everything off the burger except for the cheese. After ordering, the workers literally called me over to make sure that they had the order right. I then got the order, opened the box, and it worked! She couldn't even tell the difference. My grandma and I love Starbucks, but sometimes it's a little expensive. So my goal is to get her addicted to cheaper coffee. I started by rushing over to the nearest McDonald's to grab a $1 coffee. I then went to Starbucks and stole an empty cup to disguise my McDonald's drink. I then picked up my grandma and took her to Starbucks. I told her the coffee was on me. She liked that. While my grandma was waiting for her drink, I took the McDonald's coffee and put it in the Starbucks cup. We then went outside and I made the switch. She then took a sip of it and... There's no way this is real. The other day I was enjoying my Starbucks, but then I saw this. A $500 coffee made by a robot in Japan. Being the coffee expert I am, I knew I had to try this right away. So I booked my flight and headed to the airport. After my 14 hour flight, I got off the plane and there it was. As soon as I placed my order, the robot got right to work. The technology was so advanced that it was working at lightning speed. It even told everybody to subscribe. And once it was done it brought my drink to me and this is amazing best coffee ever one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven four ah! one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ah! one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven ah! one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ben Azalar and I have beef. Let me explain. I checked my mail and saw that YouTube sent me my diamond play button. But when I read the back, it said, Ben Azalar? They sent me the wrong one. So I went to Ben's house to tell him that YouTube made a big mistake. Ben, Ben, look, YouTube sent it. That's mine. And that's when this happened. <laughs> So we both called YouTube and they said They said they won't give me another one until I pass you in subscribers That's not gonna happen Bruh. I had to do whatever it would take My first idea was to buy a Hollywood tour bus And drive all around LA telling people to Subscribe to Topper Girl 
After driving around for hours, my subscriber growth was still slow. I'm not gonna pass Ben at this rate, so I needed to go to my favorite place on Earth to cheer me up. And then it hit me. I made a deal with the Transformers that they couldn't refuse. You have a deal. Subscribe! Subscribe to help me pass Ben. I'm about to break a world record. This is one basketball, and this is 10. The 10 ball 30 pointer. This was my first attempt. The balls weigh over 50 pounds and stand at over eight feet tall. There's no way I could give up on this challenge. I was prepared to be here all day, Bruh. all night, however long it would take. The one thing I knew is that I was going to be a world record holder. I don't care if I'm 80 by the time I'm done here. Bruh. This was my 20th attempt. I kept trying and trying and trying, and on my last shot if i make this everyone has to subscribe oh no that has to count these changed my life we all know crocs have two modes chilling mode and sports mode and i'm always running late so that got me thinking can putting my crocs into sport mode actually give me a speed boost well i guess it's time to find out so i grabbed my favorite crocs and headed to the nearest speed testing location after stretching and warming up for a bit it was time to put these crocs to the test i started with my crocs in chilling mode my first couple attempts ended crocless but i figured out how to keep them on and finished a hundred meters in about 15 seconds now it's time for what we've been waiting for sports mode instantly i felt weightless i finished 100 meters in 12 seconds that's way fast how long does it take to bake cookies in a hot car today it is blistering hot and over 100 degrees outside so i knew i had to test this out now we just sit in the car and wait uh, how much longer it's barely been an hour and the cookies look like this and i look like this they're not even done cooking what do we do to make the car hotter i have an idea <laughs> This isn't gonna work! Bruh. After another two hours went by, the temperature in my car was only rising. And then it hit me. I don't even have to be in the car to see them cook. I was so hot that I started to hallucinate. Subscribe to Topper Gills. Five hours had now gone by, and it was time to check on the cookies. All right, let's see how these look. Oh my gosh, they're actually super cooked. Mission accomplished. I just took the biggest risk of my life. This year, I got a Coachella ticket, but didn't have a place to stay. So my plan, just like I've done successfully before, I'll be asking millionaires at Coachella if I can stay with them. Hi, can I stay with you just for Coachella? No. Bruh. This was brutal because it was so hot outside. No. I was now wondering once again if the word yes even still existed. No, absolutely not. Until this house. Can I stay with you for Coachella weekend? Is that a yes? I think so. Bruh. Voldemort's house was actually very nice. And there was lots of fun activities to do. It had a basketball court, a golf course. It even had a pool. Shout out Voldemort, because this was the best weekend ever. This was so weird. This is called a miracle berry. And when consumed, it temporarily changes your taste buds so that sour tastes sweet. So today we're trying it out with the least sour to the most sour foods in the world. After taking this miracle berry, these candies should turn out sweet. Up first, we have the green apple. No way! This tastes like straight sugar! Food number two, the lime. This tastes so sweet, it's still working! Food number three. Extreme Sour Warheads. I got this. It literally tastes like candy! Bruh. And now for our last food item. The most sour of them all. Toxic Waste. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you walked up to a millionaire's mansion and asked them to swim in their pool? I'm asking millionaires if I can swim in their pool. I'm not a millionaire, I'm a billionaire. This house won't work. Bruh. After countless attempts, can I swim in your pool? No. No. Heck no. I was starting to question if the word yes still existed. Can I please swim in your pool? No. Even at the drive-thru. No. To make things even worse, it started pouring rain. I almost gave up Bruh. until this house. Excuse me. Wait. Jack Topper, can I swim in your pool? I guess. This is Jack, a 19-year-old who lives in a $10 million mansion in the Hollywood Hills. He even has a purple Lamborghini in his garage. After touring the house, I finally got to get into a millionaire's pool, and my mission was complete. My girlfriend Hannah has been acting really suspicious recently, and I think she might be cheating on me. So I am going to use this air tag to track her. As the day went on, I paid attention to her location and then realized she was at another guy's house. I'm gonna have a word with this guy. 
turns out it was her grandpa's house. <laughs> Oops. Bruh. But as I kept looking at where she was going, I still had a feeling that I couldn't trust her. As the day went on, her location changed to five guys. There is no way I am letting my girlfriend hang out with multiple boys. Once I got to the location, I realized it was just the restaurant. Bruh. But I still had a weird feeling. And that's when I saw she was headed to the park. So I had to see what was going on. And I saw her writing a letter. It had to be to her secret lover. And as she was leaving, she dropped the letter and didn't even notice. It was finally time to catch her. The letter read, Dear Topper, I'm so sorry, but I have terrible news to confess. If everyone watching likes and subscribes, I'll tell you the truth. Make me cry win $100. Once I was two and I came back from my dad's and then like my pet fish died and they had to flush him down the toilet. Bruh. Your videos, like every time I watch them, they make my day. I'm I'm subscribed. You're subscribed? You're not going to make me cry, but... Here's $20. Make me cry and win $100. You're never gonna hit 20 million subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> you don't hear, just take the money. Bruh. Dude, why does everybody say that? How many wood boards can me and my dad get through? Bruh. That's one. Yeah, too easy. Two boards. Yeah. Bruh. Four boards. Yeah. Bruh. Yeah. Seven boards. This is Disneyland. And this is Universal. The two most famous and popular amusement parks in the world. And today my goal is simple, to start some beef. I heard that Universal is better than Disneyland. Do you guys think that's true? They can try as hard as they want. They're never gonna be us. The beef has begun. I heard that Universal makes better drinks than Disneyland. Is that true? No. Disneyland had some words to say about Universal, and their confidence was peaking. This is gonna be hard to compete with. Universal wasn't happy about that. I don't care, I think we are better. So Universal's better? Absolutely. Wow. They had their own opinions on Disneyland. Drink-wise, honestly, Universal actually has some more drinks. Yeah? I would also say they're, they're more decent in price than Disneyland. This has gone way past the small beef I was trying to start. Disneyland says that they're way better than Universal, is that true? Never. Do you guys think that's true? Bruh. What have I done? Which park do you think is better? I'm gonna take this notebook into a five-star celebrity restaurant and act like a food critic to see if they treat me any differently. They sat me down immediately and had water waiting for me. Right away, I took out the notebook for the waiter to see and started my critiquing process. Bruh. I think it was working because I was getting pointed out by their staff. I then placed my order. May I please do the chicken milanese? And they brought out the food so fast. It has to be because of the notebook. I have never tasted anything this delicious before in my entire life. Does it always taste like this? Or is it because I have the notebook? I think I see the manager talking to the chef. I started taking detailed notes and was about to ask for the chat until the manager walked up to me and said this. We have a surprise for you. You have a surprise for me? Our famous lobster golden pizza. I couldn't believe my eyes. And then they sent out every single dessert on the menu. After this incredible meal, the waiter dropped off the check and it was completely free. Is it possible to draw a dotted circle? I doubt it, but I'm not gonna stop until my dotted circle looks like this. My first attempt looked like this. An eggplant. Bruh. Just like it's impossible to draw a dotted circle, it's impossible to like and subscribe at the same time. After trying every way I could think of to draw a perfect dotted circle, and I mean literally every way, Bruh. it still wasn't looking good. So I did my research and saw it's all in the pressure. I had to apply the perfect amount of pressure and rotate my arm like a clock. This was actually so close. Before I mastered my dotted circle, I had to challenge my friend. So I showed them the technique, and we got to work. Brandon tried. <laughs> what are you doing? Tori tried. <laughs> Joe tried. What? What is that? That looks like the dirty bubble. Shutters was so close. I know that's pretty good. Okay, okay. But finally, oh. I won. Oh. Three, two, one. Okay, bro. Yo, you think you can do that blindfold in? Easy. Okay, ready? Here we go. Here, throw this on. Come on. You know who I am, bro? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my god, right! Bro, that's already so impressive. Too easy. Make it go faster. You want it faster? Alright, ready? Yeah. I'm gonna hit it. Let's go. Oh my god, go! Oh my, bro, this is insane! Let's go. Woo! 
Oh, oh, bro, that was a close one. Oh my God, Ben! Let's go! The other day, I was wondering what actually happens to your poop after you flush it. Well, I have nothing better to do, so let's find out. I started by grabbing an air tag and making an apple smoothie. <laughs> Get it? Bruh. Anyways, I drank the smoothie and waited until it was time. This air tag was about to embark on a journey it did not know was possible. It was now time to track it. Ooh, this thing was traveling way faster than I expected. It has to be moving through the pipes or something. I followed it around LA until I ended up here. And just as I was about to give up, I realized it never left my body. I was tracking myself all day. Bruh. Bruh. This is the best day of the year. Customers can visit their favorite 7-Eleven and come with their own cup to receive any Slurpee for just $1.99. Slurpees are my favorite thing in the entire world. Bruh. So I knew what I had to do. Buy the biggest cup I could possibly find and go to 7-Eleven to get my lifetime supply of Slurpees. As soon as we got into the store, the employee came up to us and said, No question, is it gonna leak on my floor? No, no, it's not gonna leak, I promise. It was time to get filled. Bruh. This was so crazy that even the 7-Eleven employees were taking pictures of us. Filling the bathtub was taking a while, but luckily some random people decided to help us. And after filling it up for literally over an hour, it was time to pay. How much is it? 218. 218. Perfect. So I carried the tub, loaded it into the truck, and brought it home for all my friends to enjoy. I'm the first YouTuber to get their own official drink at Starbucks. The other day I ordered at Starbucks and they told me that this was my 10,000th drink order, which puts me in their top 100 customers in the world. Perfect. I've tried every syrup, every type of milk, every topping. I even call myself the Starbucks king. And I have confidence that this is the best drink ever. So I emailed Starbucks to see if they would give me my own drink on the menu. And after waiting what felt like forever, I got an email and it read, Dear Topper, we would love to give you your own drink at Starbucks, but you must have 20 million subscribers first. Subscribe! This was the worst celebration ever. The other day, I decided to throw myself a 16 million subscriber party. I started by making these invitations and mailing them out to all my friends. And then I went to the store to get all my favorite decorations for the party. This was gonna be lit. I needed everything to be perfect. Once I purchased all the decorations, I rented out the largest mansion I could find for my epic party. And then I started setting up. Everything was coming together so nicely. Now it was just time to wait for all my friends to show up and join the party. They had to be here any second. <laughs> Three hours went by and I was starting to rethink if anyone actually likes me. And I was starting to feel hopeless until my best friend showed up. Hey, what's up, bro? <laughs> Loser! <laughs> <laughs> and that's why... Is Starbucks a scam? My grandma and I love frappuccinos, but they're super expensive. So today I'm gonna make a $1 frappuccino to see if it's better than the average one at Starbucks. Let's get frapping. So first I got the freshest milk I could find. Then I added chocolate syrup, some espresso, ice, and then some chocolate chips. And you can't forget one pound sugar. Perfect. It's time to put it to the test. I took my grandma to Starbucks and told her we were gonna try their new frappuccino. But in reality, I disguised my drink to look exactly like a Starbucks frappuccino. It's time to see which one is better. Which one's better? This. Where is it? Where is it? Is, is that one of your bowls? No, oh, I don't feel anything. Oh, oh. You have it? You have it? Oh, oh my God, it's heavy. Yo, it's too really heavy. It's really heavy. Oh my gosh, okay. Alright, I'm going for it. See you later, I go! Okay, okay. Uh, uh, I can't feel anything. Wait, wait. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. oh my god, okay, okay. You feel it? I have it, I have it. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh god, oh my god! 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 The world record for the longest kiss is 58 hours. And today, we're gonna break that. Since I finally have a girlfriend, I was ready to take on this challenge and become the next world record holder. Everything was going perfect until we got hungry. It then became very obvious there was no way to drive and go get food like this. So we had our friend give us a ride. It was a little awkward, but we managed to get through it. We got to the restaurant and then ordered. But then we faced our next obstacle. How can we eat? So we just got a milkshake instead. So after this, we decided to go to the mall and do some shopping. And everybody and they mama was staring at us. Bruh. And after walking around for what felt like forever, I got a call from my friends. Come meet us. 
They really wanted to go ice skating and my girlfriend wasn't too happy about that. So I promised her I would get her some flowers after. <laughs> Which probably wasn't the best idea. Have you ever wondered how much money it would cost to buy every single gumball in a gumball machine? Well, luckily, I have nothing better to do. So I'm gonna figure this out for everybody. Besides, how long could it take? I started in a great rhythm, quarter after quarter, making great progress. And before I knew it, I already had 20 gumballs. But after doing the same thing over and over, this became exhausting. I realized I was going to be here a while, but I wasn't going down. And after hours of hard work, I figured out it cost $189 and 50 cents for an entire gumball machine. I just got banned from Disneyland. Let me explain. As you guys know, I am trying to reach 20 million subscribers. And I have tried some absolutely crazy things to do so. Disneyland's maximum capacity is 5 million people. And strange enough, that's how many subscribers I am away from 20 million. So I knew what I had to do. I went to Disneyland with all my friends. And we all wore shirts telling people to subscribe to Topper Guild. But that wasn't working. So I tried to get more attention by yelling. Subscribe to Topper Guild! But the subscriber group growth was still too slow. I was starting to give up, but then it hit me. I put subscribe to Topper Guild where everybody at Disneyland could see it. It was working. I was gaining thousands of subscribers a minute until this happened. They kicked me out and I can't believe nobody noticed. I was able to fake my way into getting service at a restaurant wearing no shirt and no shoes. Bruh. So today, I'm gonna see if I can get service with no pants. Yup, you heard me right. Bruh. The plan was simple. I reached out to a professional body paint artist and she gave me specific instructions to pull this off. After hours of being a professional mannequin and $30,000 later, it really looked like I was wearing pants. Let's see if this works. So far, so good. I ate at the restaurant and nobody noticed that my pants were painted on. It actually worked and I had no problem. There's no way this is true. Why does every toothpaste commercial say number one brand recommended by dentists? There's a million dentist recommended toothpaste. How can we trust them? Today my goal is simple. To walk into every single dentist office I can find and find out which is truly the most dentist recommended toothpaste. Sensodyne. Okay. This was going pretty well so far. I went dentist to dentist to dentist and received different responses. What toothpaste do I get? After hours of traveling, I ran out of dentists in Los Angeles. So, of course, I took to the streets to get some more data. I asked people in the toothpaste sections of stores. Hi, what type of toothpaste do you recommend? I use Sensodyne. And even found a guy whose brother was a dentist. Colgate? Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much. And finally got the answer that Crest was the most dentist recommended. I found these ridiculous coupons online and wanted to put them to the test starting at Starbucks. I have a coupon that says if I give you a croc, I get two free Starbucks drinks. Is that true? I have never seen that coupon. You've never seen it? That's a dirty croc too. It's dirty? This coupon could have actually worked if the crocs were brand new. Time to move on to our next store. Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, I have a coupon that says if I give you guys a free tire, I get a free donut. He had to show the coupon to the entire team. And it was totally valid. Now it's time for our final coupon, McDonald's. I have a coupon that says if I give you a potato, I get french fries. After the manager reviewed it, it totally worked. I never thought this was possible. Ever since I was a kid, I've always wanted to dunk, but I've never been tall enough to. And that's when I got an idea to do some research and find out the secret to running faster and jumping higher. And that's when I found these shoes called Jumpman. I had to get my hands on a pair. Luckily, I found them at a shoe store close by and paid $10,000 for them. They even had this guy dunking on them. It was time to put them on and start stretching because there is a myth that stretching makes you taller. Let me tell you, some of these stretches were not easy. I think I pulled a hammy on that one. Right. Oh, let's go! I can't believe this happened to me. The other day, I was at the park when I saw the cutest squirrel. And I needed to take a photo of it. As I reached for my phone, it fell out of my pocket right through the storm drain. I couldn't believe my eyes. I was crushed, but then realized I had to get my phone out of the drain. Bruh. So I had to use my resources, my gum, and my shoelace. Bruh. As I tried to get the phone, the gum wasn't sticky enough. And the shoelace wasn't sturdy enough. Bruh. So I needed to find some stronger support. Attempt number two. The stick. 
After carefully lowering the now more so chewed gum, the stick wasn't long enough. So now for my final attempt. Finding a $5,000 magnet off the internet in hopes of getting my phone back. After I met up with the guy and got the magnet, I lowered it down and... I got it! I got it! It was totally working! Oh, let's go! I did it! But then realized that the magnet completely wiped the phone and it doesn't work anymore. Bruh. Oh! Bruh. Whoa, wait, what was that? <laughs> oh! oh no, 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 no. It has to be done! <laughs> Bruh. Oh! That was pretty good, that was close! This is Prime, and this is Gatorade. Today, we're gonna see which one of them will survive the highest drop. First, we have one foot. No damage done to either drink. Now we have five feet. The Gatorade already has a pretty big dent, and the Prime looks a little beat up, but definitely in better shape. Time for 10 feet. Gatorade this time actually looks pretty good. There's still a big dent, but the Prime bottle completely ripped. This is way closer than I thought it was going to be. Now time for the biggest drop of them all. 20 feet. We have our winner by knockout, Prime! I can't believe they didn't notice. My dad and I have been coming to this restaurant for as long as I can remember. And honestly, this place almost feels like home. But it's missing something. And that's when it hit us. All homes have family photos on the wall. But this one doesn't. So my dad and I paid a professional photographer $10,000 to take a beautiful photo of us. We then rushed to a photo printing lab and got the photo put on a beautiful canvas. We then went back to our usual spot, snuck in the photo, and did what we had to do. This place now really does feel like home.